chemotherapy yeah, coating. How exciting. They actually had a question. I think if you click on that first, I think there was I'm having trouble with the sample test question. Okay. It says, uh, Dr. Aaron, an oncologist, completed a consult for Sarah, who was, has a metastatic malignant, uh, malignant melanoma in the anterior stomach wall. At this time, the primary site is unknown, and the testing will continue during treatment. Today, Sarah started chemotherapy treatments with uh, what diagnosis code would Dr. Aaron report for today's treatment? Okay, did that scroll down? Think, uh, the answer key is stating the correct answer is D. My question or confusion is when I see the coding guideline note under V5811 where it states that the patient's admission is solely for the administration of chemotherapy, assign V58.00, which, by the way, that's not correct. Encounter for radiation therapy or V58.11, etc. Therefore, I would not have chosen D because Sarah is starting chemotherapy treatments on this visit. There is no mention of radiation. I chose A because the coding guideline note. How do I see this clear? Okay. So what I did was I broke it down. There's, there's uh, when you go to that section with the V codes for chemotherapy. There's three main types of, of treatment that you're getting for your cancer um, when they come in. The V codes is if they're getting radiation, which is V58.0. That's where the person who asked the question made the error. Um, V58.0 is actually for radiation therapy, not chemotherapy. And then V58.11 is the en encounter for um, adenoplastic chemotherapy, and then V58.12 is the encounter for uh, adenoplastic uh, immune, immunotherapy. Excuse me. So this code will be used first for every encounter followed by the cancer code. We have to scroll down. Even if the patient has a complication from the chemo and the guidelines state that the V codes go first. So when you read the guidelines that are around these codes, it tells you the V code goes first followed by the cancer diagnosis, then what the patient's suffering from. It's common for when a person has the chemotherapy for them to get nausea and vomiting and dehydrated after their chemotherapy. So when a patient is admitted for chemotherapy and then develops one of these complications, you still code the therapy first. So keep that in mind. Your V code's always going to go first. So we have an example of our patient who's admitted for chemotherapy for plasma cell leukemia. It's going to be V58.11 because they're getting chemotherapy, not radio uh, uh, radiation or that immunotherapy, and their cancer is two, uh, coded 203.10. Now. Our next person, Betty, was admitted for chemotherapy for giant cell leukemia, and after her treatment was finished, she developed nausea and vomiting that was not relieved. So she was treated for the nausea and vomiting. So for that encounter, you're going to still do the V58.11. Even though she had the nausea and vomiting, it's still V58.11. The cancer is 207.20, and then the nausea and vomiting is 787.01. So there's no reason ever not to put that V code first. Now, some people don't know what these terms were, so I pulled these off of find a code that has the, um, the definitions of them, uh, a, tino, uh, a tinoplastic. What that just means is that uh, they're giving you, med that's a medication that's uh, used uh, to take care of the malignant cells. And then the chemotherapy, the definition for that is it even, oh, it's on the next page, I bet, because it was so big. Uh, the treatment of disease by chemical agents originally, originally applied to use of chemicals that affected the caustic organism unfavorably but do not harm the patient. And, of course, they usually just say chemo. You won't see chemotherapy, but it is a therapy that they're doing. So. With, if you go back to his question, I don't know, are we able to go back? Mm -hmm. He's, yep. uh, if you just eyeball that real quick, he got 
chemo, she got chemotherapy, so it would be D, five, uh, V58.11, because we know that chemotherapy is what they got, and that's the code, V58.11, and it goes first. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.